Hey everybody, Melissa Whaley here, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the new Wave Accounting. So if you haven't seen yet, Wave has completely revamped their design and user interface, so it's amazing. I'm in love, um, but a lot of the former tutorials that you watch on my channel will show the old version. So I wanted to just give you a quick tour and I'll be updating videos as I can to show you how to operate in the new version. So first thing is that your dashboard is still gonna be the first thing you see when you log in. You'll have the snapshot here, you'll have alerts and your bank accounts and invoices or bills are all gonna still be here. You can scroll down on this main dashboard and this will give you a snapshot of if you have any invoices that are coming due depending on terms. If you use the bills feature and you enter bills, um, then those will show there. And then this is your snapshot of your income expenses and your business expense pie chart. This is my demo account, so there's not a whole lot of information in this particular account I'm showing you. Over here on the left side is the new navigation. So again, here's the dashboard. The first section is now called sales. So if you click this little arrow, it's going to open up all the different things you can go to. So it's a lot faster navigation now. You can get to the things you want to get to fast rather than having to click and then click again and all those things. So sales is where you're going to find your invoices. If you do estimates through Wave, you can click right there to set up your recurring invoices. So if you're servicing the same clients, customers month after month, you can create those recurring invoices and save time. You can look, if you have Wave Payments set up, you can click Credit Card Payments and see all the details of those Wave Payments if they've been deposited in your bank. You can look up customer statements. So if you send out statements to your customers or you want to check and see who owes you money or who's paid their invoices, you can click that there. To actually access your customer list is now here. So if you want to add or edit customers, then you can do that. You can import from a CSV, or you can add them manually, edit them, delete them, whatever you need to do. That's now under the sales tab. You can also edit your products and services. These are the things that you are going to add onto your invoices. So you have different types of services, or if you have discounts, you always want to create and service or product item for discounts and have it just be negative instead of positive. I go over that in other videos. So that's where you're going to edit, delete, or add right here from this sales tab. Now if we collapse that, we can go now down to purchases. I guess it doesn't want to collapse. Well, we can go to purchases. So purchases are where you spend money. So this is where you can access bills. If you enter bills in Wave, this is for uh, companies that are actually operating on the accrual method um, or you want to keep track of how much you owe things that are coming due, especially if you operate with terms on some of your vendors. You can do that there. Receipts. If you use the receipts feature in Wave, this also connects to your phone and tablet. You can upload receipts or you can upload them right here. That's now under the purchases. And then your vendor list. This is the people you give money to. So this is going to be the stores that you shop at. This is going to be the services and products that you buy. And if you have any subcontractors, if you hire VAs, if you hire graphic designers, you want to add them as vendors and make sure that you're tracking your payments to them. So that's now here. And also you can edit products and services because if you use the bills feature in Wave, then you can mark stuff that you buy. Uh, this doesn't fully track inventory or anything like that, but it helps you know when you've bought stuff and sold stuff. Okay, that's the purchases area. Now we're gonna look at the accounting. Accounting shows is where your transactions screen are. I know you're wondering what happened to transactions? That's where I did all the work. It's under accounting now. So when you go to your transaction, wanna look for your transactions, it's right here under accounting. Again, this is still where you're gonna do all your heavy work. You're gonna categorize your transactions. 
you're going to mark your transfers, just make sure that everything works. So now you can find that under the accounting tab, transactions. The screen itself self still looks the same, still operates the same. If you need to adjust your chart of accounts, so this is your categories, your income categories, your bank accounts, any liabilities or credit cards, expense accounts, you can edit all of that stuff from right here on the chart of accounts. You can add accounts, you can edit existing accounts, or you can delete accounts. Just be careful to not get carried away deleting accounts or making too many accounts that it's hard for you to track things. If you have a bunch of categories here that you just never use, go ahead and delete them so they're out of your way. If you do any sort of journal transactions, that is here now. Journal transactions is something I usually don't recommend for people without accounting experience to do or without the guidance of an accountant. So if you need help with that, then reach out to a Wave Pro. Starting balances are for people who are moving their books into Wave and they start without a zero balance. So this helps you in particular for balancing and doing your verifications and making sure your bank is balanced and wave matches your bank account. So those are the four things in the accounting tab. The banking tab now is where you're going to find your bank connections. So this is where you can fix anything. If your bank sync is not working, if you need to add a new bank, if you need to add PayPal or your credit card, you can do that here. Remember, these are just their top ones they connect with. You can search for any bank to see if they connect. And Wave connects with a lot of different banks. So it's really helpful. If your bank is not supported, you can reach out to them and say, hey, I would love for you to support my bank. And they will do their best to do that. So that's bank connections. Bank transfers. This is specifically tied to Wave payments. So if you have Wave payments set up, and you accept credit cards on your invoices, this shows you when the money is going to your bank account. So this is just for those using wave payments. This is not the same as uh, marking transactions as transfers between your bank accounts in wave. So if you're marking things as transfers, that's again under the accounting transactions. If you use wave payments and you want to know where is my money and when's it coming to my bank, you, that's where bank transfer is. Lending is a new thing that wave is offering now. So they have partnered with a small business lender. So if you are in need of business loans, then you can now go through wave and that's a way, just another service that they're providing to their customers. And then we have, if you use payroll, if you have a team, you can go to the payroll tab and the reports tab. Reports is still the same. This is where you can find your income statement, your balance sheet, your sales tax report, all of this information that helps you understand your business better. That is all there. Now, as far as there used to be those little spinny cog wheels, setting wheels up in the right hand corner that no longer exist. Now we're going to find everything here under settings. This is going to take you to all those little tweaks that you may need to do, uh, including customizing your invoice, working with your receipts. So there's some settings that have to do with receipts and what to do. So this is email upload. You can email receipts, um, setting your date preferences, sales tax, working with wave payments, working with payroll settings, and then to add a collaborator. This is an important thing if you ever want to work with a Wave Pro. You're going to go to settings, scroll all the way down, and click collaborators. And that is going to allow you to add other people access to your account and be able to get in there. So you can add a collaborator like myself if you want to work with me to get Wave situated. And there's a couple different permission levels, there's email, you can allow people to view only mode. So if you have uh, partners or a board that needs to view things, they can do view only. They can't touch anything, but they can see. And that's how you do that. 
Then integrations over here is where you would connect things like Etsy. Uh, PayPal also is in this area and Shoebox. So Wave still connects with Shoebox for receipts. So if you send your paper, you have a lot of paper receipts and you use the Shoebox service, you can connect that into Wave. So those are the three third party applications that connect right now. And remember, Wave also now has an open API to Zapier. So if you want to use Zapier to connect things, you can do that with Wave. You'll have to go into Zapier and see the different options you have. But remember, these are not the only things you can connect, connect to Wave or connect Wave to. You can now use Zapier to connect all the things. And if you are looking to work with a Wave Pro, you can click this Find an Accountant. Now, this is still based on location. So if you want to work with someone local to you, you can do that. Or you can um, just do some keyword searches, some service searches. It'll just kind of help you find a Wave Pro maybe in your area. Or you could work with me because I work with people all over. All right. That is an overview of the new wave and I hope you learned something and we will be back soon to help you out.